There's that. And one other thing. I, I was browsing. I was actually browsing the Kiwi Farms, believe it or not. And there was, uh, I was browsing the funny picture thread. I have no idea why. I don't usually do this. And <laughs> someone posted some comics. And they were so bad that, <laughs> that I looked at to see, like, is this, like, an actual famous, like, artist? And no, it's not. I don't even know how this guy found this because these comics have five likes and no likes. <laughs> and somehow Mr. Nubbly's comics made them to the Kiwi Farms. Um, so this is our, our political comment segment of the, uh, of the stream. I think this is part one. Okay. This is the end of the fucking world. Part one by Jolly Biscuit from August 13th. Hashtag funny. Hashtag humor. Hashtag silly. Hashtag absurd. Hashtag America. Hashtag election. Hashtag MAGA. Hashtag mini series. Hashtag politics. Hashtag series. Hashtag comic. Hashtag comics. Hashtag webcomic. Hashtag webcomics. Hashtag comment strip. Let's take a look. <clears throat> I have to blow these up, I think. Okay. So it starts with at the corner for stupid assholes who suck. Um, wife guy and who has a picture of his own face on his t-shirt and then uh, a MAGA guy with a very long neck are standing at the stupid corner or a corner for stupid assholes who suck. Um, it says change rooms to the right. Wife guy um, looks and I guess he begins to speak. There's an ellipsis as if he's like thinking something. Oh, he's, he looks over and he sees um, MAGA guy's Make America Great Again hat. And he says, ah, no way. He's stunned by this. Uh, he says, I also like having sex with dogs. They both start exclaiming in rapid fire. His hat has now changed to YOLO. But they're saying, me too, me too, me too, me too. And they're grabbing each other's uh, shoulders. Um, and I guess like brotherhood. <clears throat> Uh, wife guy then exclaims, us dog heads got to look out for each other. The world isn't safe. It's ending, in fact, but what can be done about this? Uh, as he speaks, he is uh, dowsing the MAGA man's face with spittle. He's gleeking. I learned that word in middle school. It's called a gleek when you, like, yawn or something. And you spray saliva in people's faces. Um, the man being gleeked on, MAGA man, says, we should have a dog sex-having co competition to see who amongst us among us, oh, oh my god, among us, among us spotted chat, among us is the best dog sex haver in the world. Uh, wife man says, that's the best idea if I ever done did hear one. And MAGA man says, you'll find dogs, you find the dogs, I'll bring the lube. They shake on it and both of them have popped massive bonners. Okay. The final frame um, is Jolly Biscuits presents the end of the fucking world. And this appears to be the RNC convention with upside down American flags. Uh, wife guy is bringing um, bags full of dogs, saying, Keep those dogs coming. And then the other guy, MAGA guy, is saying, We must save the world even if it kills the world. Um, there's fire, lightning, uh, explosives, fireworks. Um, there are helicopters airlifting and airdropping boxes of dogs and then like U-Haul vans full of dogs. Let's see what's next. I, I got to know how this continues, chat. It's got one, one reply from Keck Magician. He says, you should add more hashtags. This one got five likes. Let's see what he says. And it was posted um, on the 27th. This one's recent. So this one was uh, like uh, two weeks after the other one. Conference Hall B, 111 days until the election. There are signs on the door that says, uh, Secret Good Boy Meeting and No Girls, tagged onto it. Now there are a group of people, all of them wearing MAGA hats with levels of chins and, a and agedness. Um, they're all saying me too, with giant erections, implying that they are also fans of fucking dogs. A man runs onto the stage... Um, the stage looks like an um, um, unknown from Pokemon. It also kind of looks like a specific racist symbol. I can't remember what that is. Um, but he says, wow, that sure was a lot of dead dogs that we killed. Huh, folks? And then his face is completely deformed and hideous. And he says, my fellow conservatives, our nation is at a crossroads. 
and he looks disgusting. I assume that this is supposed to be Trump now that I think about it. And the only reason why I can decipher that is because his tie is red and a little bit big and loose, which I which is how they usually depict Trump. But he's generally unrecognizable even as a human. Uh, Trump says, The end times are upon us. We've known this for ages. We'll see signs such as women wearing p- p- pants, as if to imply he's afraid to even say the word pants. But now the woke mob has gone too far. Uh, the dog fuckers sit there, uh, eagerly awaiting the next words, uh, many of them with erections still. Um, he then points to a picture of a movie poster of a man in a cat costume and says they canceled Spingle Cat. Uh, he's gleeking as he does this. The dog fuckers then say, Re! This is an outrage. Their boners are immense now. They've gone up in size. Spingle Cat was one of the best parts of Spingamaroo, chat, is what they say. So then it says, since time immemorial, conservatives have always been on the right side of history, a long lineage of winners who won and not losers who lost. And then there is a confederate and then a guy with an American first sign that says, leave Hitler alone. And then I don't even know what the fuck that's supposed to be. I'm assuming that's more like Ruby Ridge or something. Um, The MAGA worms are like crying. And he says, now the torch has been passed on to you. Do everything in your power to prevent the wokes. From ending the world before God is able to do it first, go forth for our dog lord supreme. And then there's, oh, the guy that I thought was Trump is actually pointing to a real picture of Trump sitting next to Jeffrey Epstein. Um, so I'm assuming that this is not actually Trump. Okay, now the dog fuckers are saying hee haw, nee naw, spingle, sping, spagoo. And uh, one guy has a shirt that says, I love mustard. And he apparently does love mustard because he has mustard stains on his lips and fingers and his mustard shirt. And the guy behind him says, support the troops. So I'm assuming that in uh, Jolly Biscuit's mind, uh, loving mustard and supporting the troops are somehow equitable. (laughs) I really don't know what he's going for. Um, they're putting on red costumes, kind of like those like spandex latex uh, costumes, like the pink guy thing, but it's red. And they're singing Sping Spong Bing Bong Pee Pee Poo while putting on their red shirts. But they're making sure to cut out a penis hole for their cocks to go through. And as they do so, they're actually doing it at a designated penis hole cutting station. And to me, this really just capsizes how efficient they believe conservatives are. That in this... this uh, this frothing rage fomented at the DNC dog fucker party. Um, they have thought ahead to bring a penis hole cutting station so that they can cut the penis holes into their costumes before they go out and dance in the real world. Uh, they continue. Now they're outside. They're in their costumes and their cocks are erect and throbbing outside with the hole that they've cut through. And it says, Spinger Dinger, I love you. A man who is, I guess, going to be... It's like a black man, brown man, like a Hispanic. And he's dressed like a 1950s detective reading a newspaper saying, I, anyone else smell burnt dog hairs? And then they invite you to read more at jollybiscuit.com, Instagram, Jolly the Biscuit, Twitter, Mr. Nubbly, Facebook, Jolly Biscuit, Tumblr, Jolly Biscuit, or Patreon, Jolly Biscuit. Okay, let me check something real quick. I'm not sure. Give me your thoughts as I look this up, chat. How do you feel about this comic? Do you feel? <laughs> what if, what's your takeaway? What's your interpretation of this, chat? Okay, he has made 978 posts, or 69 posts, and he is making 1798 a month. So on average, let me let me crack this code here. 969 divided by 17 by 98. Um, so every every 54 posts he makes, he gets another dollar a month. That's that's his current going rate. I kind of want to see his Facebook. <laughs> Actually, how many how many posts does he have on Zitter? He has 332. So he has 332 posts and 59 followers. <laughs> So that's five posts <laughs> per follower. Um, oh my God, he gets even less engagement on um, on Facebook. Look at this. He got one like. Oh my God. 
I'm gonna comment. I'm gonna say something nice. What, what can I say? Okay, I know what I'm gonna say. The I personally deeply relate to the guy with the I love mustard shirt. Have you ever tried mustard? <laughs> I mean, people really underestimate how good mustard is. <laughs> it's really good. I prefer it to ketchup. Ketchup's too fucking sweet for me now. I'm old. I like nice, vinegary, tangy mustard, okay? I don't want no fucking sweet-ass ketchup shit. I'm going to be real with you. I think that I am a net positive to Facebook. I think that I add a lot to the Facebook community as a whole with my uh, my presence. <laughs> not the shitty Heinz kind, the kind that they sell in Europe that's like not Heinz. Um, it might be Dijon. I think Dijon is like, there's usually mustard seed in Dijon. It's like a really dark yellow. I like it kind of like um, halfway between Dijon and like yellow mustard. Yellow mustard and, and like American Heinz mustard is like not real mustard. Sorry, I'm not trying to be like smug about it. No, not honey mustard. It has to, yeah. I don't want it sweet. I want it. Listen, I'll tell you, chat. I'll tell you. I love vinegar. I love vinegary wing sauce. I don't need it to be hot, I don't need it to be sweet. I need it to be extra vinegary. I like vinegary mustard. I like feta cheese with that vinegary brine. I like vinegar. I don't know what to tell you. I'm I'm full of piss and vinegar. It's my personality, okay? Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice!